Hello there, everyone. This is Matthew, a.k.a. The Nuclear Cyborg. It is currently 1.42 in the afternoon on April 8th, 2024. Uh, I hope, again, we have some fragrance uh, uh, enthusiasts in the audience, people watching, because today I'm going to review another fragrance that I recently purchased. The last video I, pr I posted not uh, a few days ago, uh, I mentioned that I had recently purchased three, uh, in my in my opinion, big big name brand uh, perfumes, fragrances, however you want to call it. Uh, I reviewed the um, uh, one moment, please. Uh, Tom Ford ombre leather fragrance that uh, has been out since two thousand eighteen, but it was new to well, not new to me, but had been off my fragrance radar for a while because due to the price and so recently I purchased that one and I purchased three two others that were uh kind of a uh, high-end fragrances uh and I was going to reveal those at the time this one that I'm going to do now was actually the one I wanted to do last because the anticipation for this fragrance was is killing me uh, the anticipation one, uh, level was so high that I wanted to save this one for last. But the second fragrance that I wanted to review has still not arrived yet. Uh, I bought it from, I got it from FragranceUSA.com, which I've never purchased from them before. So this is the first time, first fragrance that's, I purchased from them. Uh, I have no record, no email confirmation that they, you know, I bought it. I they shipped shipped it, or but uh, I have a. a you know, notification on my credit card bill that, you know, I obviously did buy it, did purchase it, and uh, paid for it. And so, but, and then the people, the customer service at Fragrance USA will not answer my darn emails and, uh, you know, tell me, you know, did I, in fact, purchase it? Is it on the way? What not? So, as I've said already, you know, the anticipation for this fragrance is so high that, you know, I just can't, I just can't hold back anymore. I was going to wait for that, for the second fragrance to uh, come in through the mail, but uh, it hasn't yet. And so, like I said, the anticipation is killing me. So, this fragrance here that I purchased here is still in the box that was delivered. Uh, and this is a brand new box. I purchased this. But, uh, well, it's still in the box, and uh, it's brand new. I purchased this back on the date. What was the, where's the date? I purchased this back on the 22nd of March, and uh, it arrived, it arrived on the April 2nd. And that's, uh, again, uh, as I said in my first video with the Tom Ford, I put these labels on there because uh, I wanted to keep the dates together. I was hoping that... I bought the uh, Tom Ford one on uh, on April 1st. This one came on the 2nd. And so I was hoping that the other fragrance that I'm talking about is would come on the 3rd. And I could kind of do, you know, three videos back to back to back and, and what, whatnot. But no, it, so it hasn't come. So this is a brand new fragrance. And um, I am so hyped to get this one because I have been waiting. And uh, as soon as I crack this one open and let you see it. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll elaborate why I was so I'm so anticipate uh, so hyped up and so anticipating this one so highly. I hope it's I hope it's really as hyped up as it, as the creator has made it to be. Well, it looks like it's packaged pretty well. Uh, got a whole bunch of that. Uh, really sure how to describe this but it's good packaging the boxes in this stuff whatever you call this uh, well wow, so looks like it's a feels like it's a pretty big box too so okay well come on now okay here it is finally uh, well the package well and it looks really nice this is attraction fatale by Reisiger, I hope I said that right, Parfums. And the creator behind this, Michelle Curley, um, 
is someone I've been following for a while. She's given me a lot of fragrance, uh, fragrance tips. And so I was a while back ago when she mentioned that she was launching her own brand. I was sticking to YouTube like a hawk trying to, uh, when she would, uh, uh, release her fragrance because I wanted to be one of the first ones that ordered uh, there's already reviews on YouTube about this fragrance from other her friends and all that stuff and, and other critics but I am just uh, every, every time I, I do a video like this I, I want to make you know I'm a consumer I consume these things you know I, I collect fragrances I wear them you know for my daily wear my for my purposes you know, the, the purpose here is not to get money from YouTube. The purpose here is not to upsell the fragrance, you know, because I'm paid to do it or because I have, I'm have i pressured to do it by a friends or not. I said, I give Michelle, uh, you know, all the credit that she is due because uh, I, first off, you know, can't deny it. She's a beautiful woman uh, and... Uh, She's given me a lot of fragrance review, a lot of great fragrance reviews, and a lot of great tips. And so, you know, I wanted, to, I want to support her. So that's why I bought her fragrance, uh, Attraction Fatale, her first fragrance. And let's see. Before we crack it open, I, like I said I purchased this bag on the twenty second, and I'm not sure if that was the launch date or not, but. Uh, that's when I purchased it because I wanted to get it as soon as possible, and it I paid what did I pay? I paid two fifty I think for this. Excuse me. <clears throat> hmm. Come on now, where's the price that I paid for this? Where, where is it? Okay. Let's go to this or confirmation. Let's go. Okay, it's two forty nine ninety five, so it's about two fifty, uh, just short of it. And um, it's I know it's a, it might be at first a little high, and that's actually this is probably the most uh, highest I've ever paid for a fragrance myself two fifty two hundred fifty dollars. Um, it's her first fragrance, and she's uh, said that she you know she wanted uh, to do the best that she could for a fragrance. It's limited edition for right right now until she's able to create more. She poured her own money into this. Her and her friend Miss Fresh, I can't remember what her first name is. Like, I think it's Silvana, 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 but I can't remember her 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 name uh, that's usually her. Uh, video name that she goes by is Miss Fresh. They poured their own heart, soul, and money into this, and so, you know, uh, the price kind of reflects that, and like I said, they used good ingredients. They got a uh, perfumer. Uh, let me see if I can find that perfumer right quick. Uh, I know I went on her website where she did it. I don't know if, she'll say, uh, if it says where she... Um, yeah, uh, the Master Perfumer Christian, Master Perfumer Christian Carbonell, C-A-R-B-O-N-N-L, excuse me, I'll spell that again, C-A-R-B-O-N-N-E-L, Christian Carbonell. I've never heard of that perfumer before. The only one that I've heard of is Alberto Barrios, um, because I also follow Jeremy Fragrance. But anyway, so like since you got a master perfumer, it's beast mode. Before again, before we get into the cracking open, open, let's see, I'll read you what's on the uh, page. Her page introducing the most sexy fragrance on the market: Attraction. Fatale from Reisiger Perfumes, made by master perfumer Christian Carbonell. This fragrance shows my personal vision and passion, and I am thrilled to share my first creation with you all. Attraction Fatale is pure seduction in a bottle. Prepare to be mesmerized by the captivating strength of Attraction Fatale. This fragrance is a statement or 
a statement or confidence uh, designed to leave a lasting impression wherever you go. Perfect for sissy sprayers as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Michelle, she's gone, uh, she's gone on record multiple times on her videos uh, calling everybody a sissy sprayer because she's like uh, 10 to 15 sprays is what she wants. She wants to make people smell you or something like that. Uh, me personally, I don't, I think seven is the most that I go on certain fragrances, but uh, I think in the last couple of weeks, maybe months, I've been doing five, and depending on um, the strength of the fragrances that I have, uh, like I said, when I started wearing ombre leathers, first off because of the price and because of the brand name, Tom Ford, I only did three sprays, you know, and it's a 1.7 ounce bottle, so I'm hoping to, you know, make it last. Okay, moving on to what she says. What sex attraction fatale apart is the beast mode performance. Every time you spray, it's like boom. You're surrounded by this alluring scent that's pure charisma. Ugh, excuse me. Pure charisma. Imagine a cloud of fragrance just hugging you. That's the vibe. It's sub suit. It's suitable. Excuse me. It's suitable for those seeking a fragrance that demands attention, and leaves an incredible mark. Women love it. That's why I call it attraction fatale. Are you ready to embrace your seductive side? Be sure to grab your bottle. And we're thinking of something else, huh? Of attraction fatale, and step into a world of a of of make. Of magnetic allure don't miss out limited stock available experience the captivating magic of treasure fatale by Razaker perfumes so that's another reason excuse me a second Merlin please don't chew my desk my new puppy sorry I'm just trying to train him to not chew my furniture okay uh, moving on uh, we have the notes finally here so the top notes are rum Mandarin and Neroli, N-E-R-O-L-I, Neroli. Those are the top notes. Merlin, please do not chew. You have toys here. Go get your toy. Middle notes, you have jasmine, rose, black pepper, and nutmeg. Base notes are vanilla, amber, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. So you got a lot of good things going here. And this is a 3.4 ounce bottle, 100 milliliters. So this is uh, a you know this is uh, all the all the pri the price for everything is reflected in the price and you know I'm not uh, I, I'm not uh, I, I don't regret paying that for this fragrance you know it's highly anticipated I wanted it I want to support Michelle and and all that so let's finally crack this open that's enough talk. Uh, she said in her video that you can smell this right from the box. Uh, it's a nice box. It's, it's bigger than I expected. It's really it's, it's really a big box. And she showed on her video how to open it. It doesn't open from, uh, like others that from the uh, out uh, from top where you uh you know op open to the top the flaps on the side and then there might be another flap inside uh, uh one more thing before we crack it open let's look at the box itself and the box is really nice I'm, i mean i might keep this thing uh you know might be a place to hide something okay so on the front there we have attraction fatale uh Extrait de Parfum. I guess that you know that means uh this is this is the strongest uh concentration I think, and then uh, she has a weird symbol. Uh, it's kind of like a lightning bolt on there, and we got Reisiger Parfums on the on the bottom there. Uh, on the sides, it's just blue. The box is blue. So you, and then on the back again, you have the Attraction Fatale Extract Perfumes. Her symbol, again, is like a compass. Uh, she says something about that she's um, a 
gypsy, I believe, or something like that. She's a traveler. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what she said, but you know, she wanted to. Ex but she, her, she wanted to express herself or her people in this fragrance. So, so that's why she chose a compass. Again, Razaker perfumes, and then it has the ingredients listed on the back here. Made, made in Spain. Let's see what the. I can't read the. I can't read the where it, where it actually came from. Spain. Barcelona, Barcelona, Spain. Okay. And then uh, you have the barcode, batch. Batch number on here, 05AD01. Okay, I think that's enough introduction. So let's finally crack this thing open. I believe you open it like this, like a, uh, like a ring, like an engagement ring box. So open it up. Ooh, very nice. I can't smell it right out of the box, but uh, so when you open it up, the top here is again got the compass and here on the bottom you have the bottle itself nicely packaged in this like a pat little gold padding and uh, you could probably i could probably pull that out but uh, i don't want to i want to keep this box uh, look as she it's really nice i mean a lot of um uh, even even high end fragrances, they, you know, they don't do they don't do much with the box because it's like you know it's just hold the fragrance and a lot of people are gonna throw it away anyway. So uh, yeah, I was really just I was really not disappointed, but you know, let down by Tom Ford because I was like you know Tom Ford fragrances, you know the box was just a box and and the cap was you know it was metal and and tough and all that stuff, but I expected more. I just expected more. I mean she's done a really good job with this box. So, Michelle, uh, you got you're you're off to a really good start. Okay, and then we got the bottle itself, which is blue like the box, a golden a golden cap. Ooh, it's taking some oomph to get off. Okay, so again, the cap itself is solid, solid metal, uh, no indentation when you press it, press down on it. So that's good. It's a, it's just a little. It's not as heavy as I as I would have expected, but uh, from the price, but that's okay. Uh, you just need a very good cap for your fragrances, because I learned uh, when I first started that air is one of the uh, uh, bad guys uh, when it comes to your fragrances. And I'm already getting uh, fingerprint marks all over this. Ugh, I, I hate when that happens. Okay, so on the front you have uh, the Attraction Fatale, and you have the Extract the Perfume, like you do on the box. You have the Lightning Bolt symbol, or whatever you want they call that, and Risinger Perfumes. And that's, I think that that's about it. Now, you might have something on the bottom. Let's see. Is there anything on the, no, uh, I don't see anything on the bottom. No, okay. Okay, so this is really nice. I like this. It looks really nice. It'd be a nice display display piece. All right, and uh, even though this is a, a little bit bigger uh, bottle, three point three ounce bottle or a hundred ml, I'm only going to do one spray of this inside the box so I can finally smell it. And like I said from the very beginning, the anticipation on this is so uh, it's killing me. That's why I decided to just go with this and I'll do the other fragrance when it gets in. So, one press, two press. Oh, that's enough. And I got, uh, and I got some, uh, some juice that's sprayed out. I, you know what? I'm going to do one more so I can try to see how the atomizer sprays. Yeah, atomizer was really good, I saw so, two sprays and that's it. I'm not going to do any more. Oh, yes. This is this is beautiful. This is a beautiful fragrance. She did really well. Oh, oh man. Oh, so many, so many. 
wonderful smells going on there. I already love this. Ugh. Really good. I mean, I, I really can't say anymore. It's just, it's, you gotta, you gotta get yourself a bottle if you still can. While supplies last, if you still have some in there. So, because this is a, this is a great fragrance. Attraction Fatale. Oh, this is great. Everything, everything from the packaging to the box to the bot, what the bottle to how it, every, how everything looks to the smell. Every, she, she said that she poured her heart and soul into this fragrance, and I, and I believe her. She did a really good job. Um, I love this, and I'm so glad that I finally was able to crack it open, even though that uh, I, I meant to save it for last. But uh, that other fragrance that will come in, hopefully in the next few days, will uh, be last. And will and it's another big name fragrance, which I won't reveal until it comes. So, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Let me see. Uh, uh, I'm, at, I'm 21 minutes. I'm a little over uh, 20 minutes. And uh, that's not too bad for, for, for a video. So, uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. I would uh, highly encourage some people to go on to Risinger.com. Get yourself a bottle of this. I know the price is a little steep, but but everything is reflected in the price. I mean, you, you're getting a quality fragrance here, quality everything. Uh, and she shipped it pretty fast. I mean, like I said the anticipation made it seem a little uh, a little long from the... What, what did I say? What did I originally say? The 22nd? Is that what I said? I said March something. What did I say? It's a confirmation. 22nd, yeah. March 22nd to April 2nd. Uh, it's not too long, but the, again, the anticipation probably made it seem longer. Anyway, that that is... That is great, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be many more um, uh, your re reviews out there, and from probably from people better than myself. But like I said, I'm a consum I'm a consumer uh, of fragrances. I have a big collection now, and I, I love every single one of them. I love this one. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, uh, what rank. I would give this one. It's way up there. Like I, said, I, I do love every single one of my fragrances, so I don't know. Uh, I can't. I can't. It's hard for me to pick out just one, but this is a good one. All right. So uh, again, I tend to ramble on, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit this video. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, you can like uh, the video. You can get, uh, send me a comment. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, which, you know, I only have a few followers, but, you know, I, I, I think you thank every single one of them, and so, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much a wrap, so thank you for watching, see you later, bye.